Finding the right pouching system that works for you and learning how to use it correctly is important. Because the pouch and skin barrier of a one-piece system are applied and removed together, a one-piece pouching system can be very easy to use. Let's review how you would change a one-piece pouch. First, you'll want to get your supplies ready. You will need the following items to prepare your new pouch and put it on. A stoma sizing guide, unless you are using a pre-sized pouching system. A pen and a pair of scissors for marking and then cutting the skin barrier to the proper size if you are using a cut-to-fit skin barrier. Your new pouch and a disposal bag for your used pouch. You will also need water and some tissues or paper towels for washing and drying your skin. If you are using ostomy accessories with your pouch, you will need to get those out and ready at this time. After you've assembled all your supplies, you're ready to prepare your new pouching system. If you are using a cut-to-fit skin barrier, draw the pattern of your stoma onto the backing of the skin barrier. To avoid cutting the pouch with the tip of the scissors, simply pull the pouch away slightly, then cut the opening in the skin barrier. Scissors with a curved blade generally work best. After you have cut the opening, you may want to smooth the inside edge of the skin barrier with your fingertip. Now is a good time to make sure the tap is closed at the bottom of your pouch. If you are using the urostomy caps included in your box of pouches, you can also add that now. Next, remove the backing from the skin barrier. Leave the rest of the backing for now. If you are using a cut-to-fit skin barrier, save the backing paper to use as a pattern for cutting your skin barriers to the proper size. If your stoma is still changing size, date your pattern and throw away old patterns that no longer fit your stoma. If you are using a pre-sized opening, just peel off the backing paper as already described. Set aside with the adhesive facing up. Now it's time to remove your used pouch. It's easiest to empty your pouch before you remove it. When taking your pouch off, Carefully lift an edge of the adhesive and peel downward, gently pushing the skin away from the skin barrier. Properly dispose of your used pouch. It's best to change your pouch on a routine basis. This can vary from person to person, but you want to change it before it leaks. For many people, this may be every three to four days. The best time of day to change a pouch is in the morning, before you have anything to drink. Clean your skin with water and, if needed, a gentle soap. Do not use oils, powder, lotion, or lotion-type soaps on the skin. Rinse and dry your skin thoroughly. Skin gel and other prep wipes are not recommended if you are using an ostomy pouching system with an extended wear skin barrier. Using wipes can reduce the wear time of the extended wear skin barrier. Finally, put the pouch on by first centering the opening over your stoma. Gently press the barrier to ensure it makes good contact with your skin, beginning next to your stoma and working out toward the edges. Place your hand over the barrier and hold it in place for about 30 to 60 seconds. The warmth of your hand and gentle pressure will help to activate the adhesive. Finally, remove the rest of the backing paper from the tape.
Then press the tape down against your skin. Keep an emergency kit of the things you will need to change your pouch if you are away from home. Your pouching system is designed to be secure. This will greatly increase your comfort and confidence.